After 15 years of banishment from his native Persia, Baha'u'llah, the founder of the Baha'i faith, was exiled in 1868 to this land under the rule of the Ottoman Empire. He was imprisoned in this fortress city, which he referred to as the most great prison. For a period of seven years, he was confined to the house of Abud, where the most holy book of the Baha'i revelation was revealed. At the appointed time, through the initiative of his eldest son, Abdul Baha, the Blessed Beauty proceeded out of his residence in the house of Abud down these stairs, towards the door that opened to the back streets of Akko. In kingly manner, he entered the waiting carriage, which took him through the narrow streets of Akko. and out of the city via the land gate to the countryside. Having been deprived for so many years of closeness to nature and the beauty and verdure of the countryside, it was Abdul Baha who arranged this location in Masrai for Baha Law. During his sojourn here, Baha Law visited a beautiful spot in close proximity to Akko which he called the Garden of Rezvan. In 1879, Baha'u'llah moved from Mazrae to the mansion of Baji, where he lived for the remaining 13 years of his life, passing away in 1892. It was in this delightful place that the grandeur and majesty of Baha'u'llah were manifested to friend and foe alike. Well over a century later, the mansion and its surroundings may be seen in their full glory. It was during this period that Baha'u'llah revealed tablets to certain individuals, bestowing on them the title, Hands of the Cause of God. Baha'u'llah referred to these special few as the chosen ones, the detached souls, and the pure in spirit. In the Tablet of the World, Lohe Dunyo, revealed shortly before his ascension, the Blessed Beauty described the loftiness of the station of the hands of